Hello, I'm Megan Davis, research professor at Florida Atlantic University Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. And I'm very excited to be here today to share with you our presentation, a Fisher's operated pilot scale queen conch hatchery and nursery facility for restoration and sustainable seafood supply in Puerto Rico. I'd like to introduce you to the authors and also the partners of this project. Raimundo Espinoza and Victoria Casar are with Conservation Conciencia in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And Carlos Velasquez and Julio Ortiz are with the Asociación de Pescadores in Playa Juqueras, which is near Naguabo, Puerto Rico. This is a partnership project that's supported with the Salt and Salt Kennedy NOAA Fisheries Grant. Queen Kong is the most significant molluscan fishery in the Caribbean. It's prized for its meat and also its unique pink shell. It also plays a very important ecological role as a keystone grazing herbivore, keeping seagrass beds clean and healthy. Many communities throughout the Caribbean depend on it for sustenance and also for their livelihoods. It's an important artisanal fishery here in Puerto Rico. Fishing pressure and habitat loss over the decades have led to population declines throughout its geographic range. In Puerto Rico, there's conservation measures in place for the fisheries, such as size limits, such as quotas, and also a closed season from August 1st through October 31st. So why is conch a prime candidate for aquaculture in Puerto Rico? The Queen Conch Resources Fisheries Management Plan helps to lay out the many regulations that I discussed in order to help restore the population and maintain the population in Puerto Rico. The majority of conch that are fish are consumed locally here in Puerto Rico and are sold for nine to $14 a pound. There have been many disruptions of conch habitats from storms and especially from the devastating Hurricane Maria, which impacted the fisheries and the fishing community. Here is an example on the right-hand side you can see when the conch season opened in November 2016, the fishers from the Naguabo Fishing Association brought in 8,000 pounds of conch. But after Maria, that same time of year in November, they were only able to bring in 400 pounds. So that shows the devastating impact of a hurricane such as Maria. Previous conch hatchery and nursery studies at the University of Puerto Rico in the 1980s by my colleagues David Valentine and Richard Alvadorin have also provided important information for aquaculture in, in Puerto Rico and will be able to certainly use some of their results. So let me start with a timeline of how we got started on the project. It was June 2018 when Ray and I met at a Marine Fisheries Advisory Committee NOAA fisheries meeting. And we discussed this idea of building a fishers operated queen conch hatchery. We brought our talents together. I have over 40 years working in queen conch aquaculture and Raimundo has decades of experience working with communities, fishing communities. And so we decided that this would be a great project together for Puerto Rico. And so in October, 2018, I came down to Puerto Rico. I met with Raimundo and Carlos, the president of the Fishing Association, and a partnership was formed. We put in a proposal for Salt and Salt Kennedy, and in September, we were awarded a competitively, competitively awarded grant um, in September 2019. So that began our kickoff meeting, and we met with the fishers, and we began the renovations at the Fishing Association. Just to orient you to where the Fishing Association is located and uh, where Naguabo is located. If you look up here, you can see San Juan is in the Northeast area of Puerto Rico and Naguabo is the starred area. It's to the Southeast about one hour from San Juan. It's located on a bay and on Hugueras Beach. And here you can see the Fishing Association from the water side. And then the red arrow over here shows the fishing association and the lockers for the fishermen. There are 22 fishers that are members of the Naguabo Fishing Association and our hatchery is located behind these lockers. 
So our overall arching goal is to assist with restoration of the clean comp uh, fishery in Puerto Rico. We have four objectives to build and operate a pilot scale hatchery, to open the facilities for others to come and learn about clean conch aquaculture, biology, conservation, and fishery, to release hatchery reared conch, and also produce a plan to recommend other areas in Puerto Rico for conch hatcheries and potential grow out areas. Here's um, our partners. Uh, um, and you can see with Conservation Conciencia, with Raimundo, uh, our hatchery manager, Victoria Casar, Maria is our hatchery assistant and Dali is our intern. And then you can see Carlos is the president of the Naguabo Fishing Association. We work with Carlos and also Julio, who is the treasurer and a fisher and many other members of the fishing association. And then we also have Harbor Branch, uh, where, which is where I work. As we continue the timeline, it was January, 2020 when we ordered our tank supplies. And then as, um, as you all are aware, COVID-19 came in in March, uh, 2020, the pandemic slowed down um, our project and we were still able to have our tanks and supplies delivered. Uh, Raimundo and Carlos did do some hatchery installation, but it was really in April, 2021 that we really moved full steam ahead uh, to build the hatchery. Um, and then by June, 2021, uh, the hatchery was completed with saltwater systems ready to go. Um, and that's when we started raising queen conch. Here's a look at the layout of our hatchery. Our hatchery is very small. It's only eight feet wide by 18 feet long. It has um, all the things necessary to grow queen conch, including the larval tanks that you can see on the left-hand side and the egg incubator. Then as you follow the hatchery along, you see the metamorphosis and then the, the algae area, which is used to grow algae to feed the larvae and also the metamorphous conch. Here's a, a look inside the conch hatchery in the upper right-hand side, you can see our working hatchery. Um, and then you can see our saltwater reservoir system. We pump seawater every two weeks and that seawater goes through filtration and UV and it's on a continuous polishing system. And then the nursery system on the left-hand side is uh, being built right now to be able to hold juvenile queen conch uh, for nursery grow out for 12 months until it's ready to have the conch released into the field. To continue our timeline, it was June, 2021. As I mentioned, the hatchery was ready to receive its first egg masses that were collected by the fishers of the association. They incubate for four days and then hatch, hatch into larvae. The larvae are fed microalgae for 21 to 25 days. And then it was in July, 2021 that we had our first successful metamorphose batch of juvenile conch. We have continued to raise multiple batches of queen conch uh, up through the juvenile phases. So what's next? We have a recirculating juvenile nursery tank that I mentioned that is nearing completion. And so we're excited to start to put our juveniles in that system to grow them for restoration purposes. We also received a second grant from NOAA. Uh, this is also a Salt and Salt Kennedy grant where we'll produce a thousand conch to be raised in grow out pens, coastal pens, and for sustainable seafood purposes. We have also in the process of developing value added markets for Queen Conch. We're working with the local restaurants and chefs. We're expanding our project to bring on another species that would be the production of sea vegetables using seawater from our conch hatchery. And this project is supported with a grant from USDA and also Puerto Rico Sea Grant. This project has a tremendous significance both in Puerto Rico and for the Caribbean. We are assisting with stock enhancement strategies for conch populations. We're providing diversified incomes for fishing communities, providing training and career opportunities for students and interns and community outreach. This also serves as a model to transfer technology to other fishing communities in Puerto Rico and in the Caribbean. We have several resources available, such as our English version of our Clean Conch Aquaculture Manual and our Spanish version is due to be released by FAO by early December. 
We also use the Naguabo Conch Hatchery as a model to develop an online course called eConch and as a site for training. Here's our contact information and uh, please follow along on our social media and you'll be able to keep up with the work that we're doing at the Naguabo Queen Kong Hatchery. Thank you very much.